Okay, so you want to have your own world, but you have no experience in creating your own worlds or modeling. In 10 minutes, I'm gonna teach you everything from start to end to have your own VR chat world. Let's go. <laughs> Alright, so let's get started. Uh, I already looked up and downloaded a world just to speed up the progress a little bit because the importing and uh, making the model valid in your, uh, in your project, it takes like four minutes already. So let's uh, start the timer at 10 minutes. Uh, make sure you create your project, give it a name. I gave mine the name 10 minute world just to clarify it I have downloaded it uh, from Sketchfab the bedroom search and then gaming room it has been created by Vincent so make sure you follow him or check him up and see what other great models he made you might be able to use uh, this one was just a free model so uh, you can download make sure you uh, download a FBX file as for that you don't need any kind of 3D modeling software. Um, yeah, that's it. So let's close this. Uh, as you can see over here, the model I already put it in a model uh, folder, and the textures have been placed into a texture folder just to speed up the start of the process a little bit. Uh, yeah, it has been added. Also, the SDK. I have added the SDK already just to speed up the importing progress. And that's it. So make sure you have the SDK set up and step through everything. We don't have anything else in here yet. Let's get started. Start the timer. There we go. So first of all, you want the uh, prefabs and put the world in there. I'm changing the icon color so we can see VRC world. And I like to add the main camera to the reference camera. Instead of min minus 100, I'm gonna put it on minus 10. So now for the model, I'm just gonna deselect everything. Uh, Make sure colliders is set on, generate light maps set on, and import it. I'm not gonna do it right now because it's saving me time. Let's see, it's right over there. So we have our scene. Let's check quickly if it's the right measure. Well, it, it's a little bit big, but it will do for now. So let's move that VR chat world prefab in. So we have a spawn point. Let's spawn up there. Uh, we have a door over here. I want it to be closed. So I'm going to put it right over there. Oh, and we have a big gap over there. Um, let's fix that with a mirror. That's, that's a good solution, actually. Put a mirror right over there. don't have a lot of time so I'm just gonna fill up the holes with things that we can use yes big mirror great I'm not gonna make any toggle balls you can check another uh, tutorial that I've created to uh, to create the toggles so let's go to textures create a new texture material um, make sure you always give them a proper name for now I'm not gonna proper name them because I'm on a speed limit uh, let's put them on light mapped and put the wood in it just duplicate it put other wood in it du duplicate put the other wood duplicate put the smash super smash no it's Mario Bros in there another poster another poster I think another poster I have no idea what this is, but we'll figure it out. I'm just gonna create 
most of the textures really quickly. Might not have time to do it all. Uh, let's see. And uh, we also probably need the one over here. So let's see. Yeah, that seems like the walls. That seems like the floor. Bed. Let's see what else do we have. We have oh, another drawer. I'm just gonna try to put as many things in here. Look at that beautiful. I'm just gonna drag and drop. I don't know unless a clock. We don't need a clock. Another one. Another one. And put this one over here. Okay, that already looks way better. Uh, we have some top. I have no idea. Maybe we can. Oh, let's leave leave it like this. So we have already textured a few of the items. Not everything. You can of course do that yourself. I'm not gonna put too much time in it. Let's move this some a little bit out of the direction. So I'm gonna select the main model again and I'm gonna put it on static. Yes, change the children. So everything is static right now. I'm gonna create a new 3D, no, a new light and reflection probe. I'm gonna drag it right in. There we go, it should be fine. Let's bake it. There we go, we got reflection. Now let's add some uh, lights, just some spotlights. No, no spotlights. We're gonna make some point lights. I will do. And, and now let's uh, place one right about here. Put it on baked. Do the same for the lamp over here. Put it on baked. We got another lamp over there. This is all up to you, of course, where you want your light coming from. So we might have some light coming from this thing over here as well, but uh, maybe a little bit red light. Uh, let's see. Can we? Maybe we can put. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful. Then it shouldn't be red light, but a little bit bluish. That looks good. And let's start baking it. So we get some shadows. Look at that, looks way better already. Getting baked, more light over there. All right, baking is done. You can see a little bit of the shadows popping up everywhere. And let's rebake the reflection probe. It should be fine. Yes, there we go. So at this moment, maybe we want some uh, chairs so we can sit on the couch as well. Still got three minutes left. If I got spare time, I will be doing a little bit more of the textures. So hide the base in the back. But we can still sit on it. Do another one. Let's uh, quickly unhide it. Put it right over there. And hide the base in the back again. There we go. We got a small television over here. I already imported the Hangout player. So I'm gonna drag that over. And move the UI a little bit, um, yeah, a little bit over there. And the screen, we're gonna make it a little bit smaller. So it fits the television over here. Oh, it's kind of hard. There is a, yeah, so it's, it's like a slightly curved the screen. So. Okay, we, we 
have to do it manually. Let's make it like this. But this should be fine. Alright, let's see. Oh, we might be able to get through the mirror now, so let's create a new 3D object real quick and put it right over here so nobody can actually fall through. There we go. Nothing more is needed. The mirror is still there. Let's see, one minute left. Okay, let's um, try to add a few more textures to make it a little bit nicer. Another texture. And come on. Another texture. I have no idea what they are. Oh, this is normal map. We don't need the more normal maps. I'm gonna change this to this. Wait, maybe it's funner to have. Ah, no, that's not the right one. All right. Let's see. What is this? This looks like. Oh, is this the floor? That looks cozy. So then, this might be the top. And we might need to create a new material, but make this one standard light and make it really reflective, make it a little bit darker. There we go, and put it on things that we still have to color. Put it over there. This one goes over there. Maybe we want some 28 seconds. Also some red couch or something. Make it less shiny. Put it on the couch. Duplicate it. Make it a little bit darker for the pillows. This one as well. And this. Yes, looks good. And that's time. That's all we could do. There we go. Timer. It's over. Let me quickly rebake while I close the clock. And then we start publishing. So, unpause, press, and give it a name to Mint World. And upload it. Looks pretty fine like this. Alright, so when you are in VRChat, just open up your worlds, scroll all the way to the bottom, and you should be seeing mine, and then 10 minute worlds, there we go, just open it, and let's check it out. Oh, <laughs> it's upside down, well, probably the wrong poster on it, but look at this. We got our pretty small television over there. We got our lamps, we can sit on the sofa and on this thing. But for a 10 minute world, this looks kind of fun, right? You can, like, w with a little bit more time, you can really texture all the books, you can texture this thing better. Oh, the clock, there's the clock. <laughs> you can well, basically make it a small cozy, cozy room for yourself. All right, so that's like literally 10 minutes of work creating a simple room. You don't need any modeling skills or whatsoever. Just import it and play a little bit with it, texture it, that's, that's all it takes, 10 minutes. Give it some extra love and you will have basically the whole world but for yourself so at this point i want to thank my lovely patrons again They're right over there thanks for subscribing uh, this month and um, if you're curious to learn how to do more make sure you s hit that subscribe button down there leave a like put on the notifications and we're almost at 100 followers, so I really appreciate you guys. And for now, thanks 
for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and see you next time.